everyone! This time I will make four resin geode coasters and a matching coaster holder. And these coasters and holder, holder will get a beautiful holographic effect, but also a flower design. So I hope you enjoy watching the process of how I create these geode coasters and holder and give me a thumbs up for it. So I already started with pouring clear resin in the coaster holder. There you can see it. I'm using the Art Pro resin from Resin Pro. I can pour up to one centimeter, so that's good enough for this coaster holder. And if you are interested in the resin, the link to their website is in the description below this video. I also have a promo code. If you use my code Petra, then you will get 10% discount. On your order so all the information to that is in the description below this video but yeah what I mentioned these coasters and holder will get a holographic effect you can already see it in the mold and this is an amazing mold and uh, this is a mold from molds and shapes and what I mentioned before I only use their molds because it's of a great quality so if you're searching for amazing molds, please visit their website. The link is in the description below this video. And if you use my promo code JUSTPAINT5, then you will get 5% discount. And you really won't be disappointed if uh, you use their molds. If you handle them the right way, they last for a long time. So, thank you so much, Molds and Shapes, for uh, sending me these, um, this, these amazing molds. The, the Geo, the coaster uh, mold and the holder with that amazing holographic uh, effect. So, I'm very curious how it looks after the resin is dry. And at the end of this video, I will show you all a close-up then you can also see the beautiful effect but first a clear layer of resin there you can see it and i'm using my heat gun a lot to remove those air bubbles because i never use a torch because if you use a torch then you have a risk that the resin will stick to the silicon and that's not good because then you can damage your mold But I never used a, a silicon mold with a holographic design, so that's why I'm uh, very curious how it looks. It already looks amazing if I look at the mold. So hopefully this will create a nice holographic look to my coasters and holder. Yeah, and I'm first um, adding some really amazing glitter. I'm testing it because maybe I want to add it to my Etsy shop. I'm not sure yet because this glitter is very expensive. And I've a I'm adding a silver chunky holographic glitter but also blue. I mix those two together in a little bit of resin. And now I'm pouring a line on the outside of the coaster. And I think it's an amazing glitter. It sparkles a lot. And I think that this will uh, give an amazing effect together with the holographic design uh, from the mold. Now I'm starting with my flower design. Yeah, and I'm not so good at making petals, but yeah. I'm trying. So I'm starting with white, and this is the casting craft white. Yeah, 
And what I did, I added a little bit of resin in a paper cup, added the casting craft, mixed it together, and then I added in a pastry bag. Because then you have much more control over the line than if you would pour it out of the paper cup. And I didn't wait for the resin to set a little bit. I mix it together and then I added it into my uh, pastry bag and now I'm making the lines. So the second color is from Dippon. It's a German based company and this is a drop in tint in the color Ocean Blue. Very nice color, very shimmery. So next to the white line I'm adding this blue line. And if the glitter flows a little bit to the center, I don't have a problem with that, I like that. And this color is one of my mica pigments, it's the Azure, very nice blue-green shade. And all the supplies I'm using in this video you can find at the end of the video, but also in the description below this video, so also the link to molds and shapes but also the links to all the um, colorants I've used and the Resin Pro Resin you can find in the description below this video. Again a little bit of white in the center. More lines of white. Again the ocean blue on top of the white. And for the people that watch my acrylic bloom videos, I'm still experimenting with a lot of new uh, mediums. Um, because I want to test also a new pillow paint that is not made uh, from wall paint, but from normal acrylic paint because some people don't have the wall paint but do but they do have the acrylic paint so that's for upcoming videos and I'm also working on a in uh, pirate that's an uh, quartz crystal I don't I don't know if I pronounce it uh, the right way we call it pirate and it's a nice silvery um, quartz mineral so I'm working on a resin piece uh, based on or inspired on that quartz mineral and um, so a lot of new things are coming up also um, I'm working on a new piece that has the mirror effect I already made one video 
uh, with a mirror effect, but I want to make more. So a lot of experiments and uh, new supplies to test. Again, some clear in the coaster holder. Using my heat gun again to remove the air bubbles. And I'm also planning to uh, make a mixed media painting again that I'm using different um, textures to create a nice uh, painting together with resin because I love to uh, make mixed media uh, paintings. I hope you also enjoy watching those videos and I hopefully inspire you all to try out some uh, techniques that I'm using. Again, the really beautiful glitter. And for the people that are interested in my mica pigments, and I also have some really beautiful mirrored glass, and mica flakes, glitter flakes, and a lot more. The link to my Etsy shop is in the description below this video. And my mica pigments are also available in the USA and Canada by my associate Evelyn Schaefer. The link to her Etsy shop is also in the description. And we just added uh, a lot of new colors. And we are working on more new colors and for sure we are going to add interference colors because you can do a lot of uh, with interference colors. And I'm working together with Evelyn on a file uh, in which you can see um, how to use my mica pigments, if you can use them in resin or an acrylic binder or in nail art or in soap. Um, and then we, if the file is ready, then we will add it on our social media uh, pages for you to use. And uh, then you can see really fast which mica pigment can be used in which medium. And I think that will be very helpful. Also some clear in the legs for the coaster holder. And what I need to mention is that I uh, lately I'm adding uh, subtitles in different languages um, for example I'm adding myself the la Dutch language but also English uh, German and Google translated Italian Spanish and French and I got a question if I could add Russia or Russian so I will also do that but what you need to do is select uh, your language and then you have the subtitles and you can select it below this video behind the small wheel if you click on it then you can select your uh, language of your country. Also a little bit of that glitter in the holder legs.
So off, right after pouring, no, not right after, an hour later, I will show you a, a close-up. Then you can see that uh, how it looks then after an hour of drying, because normally it will change a little bit. And um, at the end of the video, I will show you all a close-up of the end result. So I'm done, I will let this dry, and uh, then I'm going to take them out of the mold. So we are one hour, hour later, and now you can see how they look, and they changed. So you can see the glitter has flown to the center. I don't have a problem with that, because I like it. And you can see the holographic effect of the glitter, but also already a little bit of the mold. But so far I'm very pleased how they look. The colors look amazing, they sparkle a lot, yeah you can see it right now that well, but in the close-up you can see it much better. So the resin is dry, now I'm going to take them out of the mold, starting with the legs. And it dried we uh, very well, so that's good. And I don't have a problem taking them out of the mold, what I already mentioned, I don't use a torch. So I'm very curious how the other side looks. Because that will give the holographic effect. But I'm going to do a little bit more to these uh, coasters and holders. But that is later in the video. Now we can take a closer look. The glitter looks amazing and the sparkle of the colors also. But you can already see the holographic uh, effect from the mold. That is really beautiful. I never used a holographic mold before, what I already mentioned, but this is amazing. But I'm going to do more to these coasters and holder, but that's in the next part of this video. So beautiful. What a great idea to make a holographic effect in a silicon mold. So thank you so much Molds and Shapes for uh, making or designing these molds. So after I took them out of the mold, I realized I could have done this, a black layer, in the mold. But that's for next time. So what I did is I taped the other side of the coasters and the coaster holder so that I don't get any drips on that side because that will be the side that I'm going to use. But I think... It will look amazing if I add a black layer on this side, because then the holographic effect of the mold, but also the glitter that I've added, will be much more visible. So very carefully I'm going to uh, add a black resin layer, and I want to prevent that it will flow over the sides. So only on this side not on the sides. I hope you understand what I'm trying to say. 
we we'll get a black resin layer. There you can see it with a very thin stick. I'm pushing it to the edge and hopefully not push it, push it over the edge. And I've speeded this because this took a lot of time. So if you want to do this, yeah, it's better to do it in a mold. But if you're doing it this way, then you need a resin that has a longer working time. And the resin from Resin Pro ha has at least one and a half hour working time. So that's long enough to uh, do this. And for the black, I'm using the black paste from Resin Pro. So I don't know how it will look on the other side, but I think it will look amazing. I'm not sure, but um, yeah, that's a risk. But yeah, I love to experiment. So that's why I'm adding this layer and then showing it to you all. And hopefully it will look great. I already did the legs, there you can see it on the top of the video. Adding a little bit more black, not too much, because then it will flow over the sides and I don't want that. I'm so sorry for my friend's bulldog. <laughs> He's making a lot of noise again. But people that watch my videos <laughs> already know that he makes noise. But yeah, he's such a sweet dog. And he's always with me where I go. And what I also want to mention is that I have my own Facebook group. So if you use my uh, Just Paint supplies and um, create art with it, please share it in my uh, Facebook group. I'm very curious. The link to it is in the description below this video. And I hope to see you all there and uh, share your art. And maybe share techniques that I've never used before because I think we can learn from each other. So far it doesn't flow over the side, so that's good. And the coaster holder, I need to watch out with where the holes are for the legs. Removing some air bubbles. now I can use a torch.
Yes, this takes some time. But I'm almost done. So I will let this dry and then I will show you all the end result. So this is the end result, first a close-up of the holographic effect and I think it looks amazing. Also with the black uh, background, very nice. And the combination with the chunky holographic glitter looks also very beautiful. So let me know what you think. This is a close-up. In the daylight, there you can see the flower design. I'm really pleased how that looks. I'm not that real, uh, good at making uh, petals of flowers, but yeah, I'm pleased with the end results. And I must say, the holographic effect from the silicon mold is amazing. A little bit closer, there you can see the nice effect of the petals. And the colors sparkle a lot. So if you uh, place different light on top of that coaster and coaster holder, then it will get that holographic effect that already is in the mold. But now on this side of the coaster, there you can see it. Different colors from blue to green, yellow, red, orange. So nice. So if you like what I'm doing, don't forget to subscribe and give me a thumbs up for this video. I want to thank you all for watching again and hopefully I will see you in the next video. Bye!